Let me introduce you to Maxwell Chikambuzo, self-taught engineer, sustainable energy pioneer. Scientific breakthrough with this green energy technology, an electric car which he says converts radio frequencies into energy. Chikumbutso is not the typical scientist. He dropped out of school aged 14 and says he's developed his blueprints through research and visions from God. A showroom in Harare showcases his prototypes. A helicopter that operates using any one of the five fuels, including paraffin, a drone and a household transformer that he says can multiply power a hundredfold. But he says breaking his disruptive technology into the world has not been easy. He's failed to patent his work. Luis Kupenala, a South African-based Angolan businessman, has poured millions into the project, but now believes it's time to commercialize. He says the Angolan government and a Brazil private energy player have signed up to buy some of their products, but that other investors don't generally believe anything credible can come out of Africa. His patents were declined because they violated the laws of physics. Can a science engineer please make this make sense? A couple years later, USA Today released this article discrediting Chikambuso. The article is literally an ad for Tesla and Elon Musk. This happened less than a year later, but he's fine now. So this is the first television in the world that uses self-power to say. It is all in one. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. Yes, it, is, it is a complete solution. Behind the television, you can see that there is a microsonic energy device, this box. This is the device that is converting radio frequencies into pure energy. As you can see, the power of the cable was supposed to be here. On all traditional televisions, power comes here, but there's no power, as you can see. The television is, it is working as it is. Let's see if this one violates the laws of physics. 